going on folks, Hitpaws here, welcome back to the next part of this tutorial and in the last part we did get this thing working inside of UDK and I did mention a couple of things that I somewhat wanted to edit so uh, one of the things is I wanted to take the dirt and just kind of bring it back a little bit so there's a few ways to do that uh, number one I want to highlight the dirt I'm going to go to my channels, my alpha channel, I'm going to hit control H and I'm just going to fill that with black Okay, so that dulls that out in the alpha channel. That's going to help already. Okay, the other thing is the dirt. I may or may not want to make that multiply. Now, if I do multiply, the problem is, is that on like the black, it's kind of like entirely gone. So there's two ways I could do it. I could make a dupe control click the plastic and use that as a mask and make that multiply but make the normal mat the normal dirt just be normal okay and what you can see is I get a bit of stuff here now what I would probably do too is take this mask and stick it on this one and invert it okay so it's multiply on the plastic normal on the body of the gun right on the metal okay and which is okay but in some spots it's still a little little intense so given that let's find out which one's on my plastic here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a brush here and I'm gonna use a really really uh, highly noisy noisy one and there's one here it's this 100 here okay I'm gonna kick up the spacing a little bit of shape dynamics based on my pen pressure with a little bit of size jitter a little bit of scattering okay and a little bit of opacity jitter and I definitely want to control that pressure with my pen okay and now on the mask, I was like, oh, I held Alt and tried to rotate the model. I'm just going to paint with black, okay? And I can tone it back. Just real light. All right. Same thing here. Just a little bit. All right, control zero. Same thing here. But I'm keeping it in the specular as it was. Okay. And here, in cheese we trust. I can shrink my brush a little bit to make the dots a little bit finer. And if I feel like I went too far, I just hit X and paint it right back in. Yeah, should be good. All right, uh, this here maybe a little bit. I did say I wanted to invert that. Now, in order to do that, I gotta go back to my bump here. Actually, it is dipping in. I don't know why the lighting's reversed there. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna mess with the bump. Okay. Um, that is the right one. Just tone, tone that back a little bit, a little bit more. Okay, and I'll save that. And let me take a look at the channels here real quick. Yeah, it looks like, just as a test, that if I crank this up and crank this down, that I can pretty much isolate the metal. Okay, so that's pretty much what I'm going to get with a power node anyway. So I can use this for a reflection mask, I think, no problem. So, let's go ahead and resave that. Let's go back to my textures folder. Yes! 
and 32-bit. I don't want to lose that. Okay, let's pop up the content browser, re-import that guy. Drawing a happy face. So I'm happy about waiting. Alright, here we go. Let's uh, scroll all the way down because it's a dick. And you should see already that our dirt is going to be much less apparent. Okay, and it is. All right, now what I want to do is basically I'm going to make this about 60 and I'm going to multiply these together and I'm going to throw that in specular power okay that makes the metal a lot more glossy but I'm actually not going to go 60 I'm going to go maybe 30 okay and what you'll see Kind of hard to tell. If I, maybe if I make this a little bit bigger, drop that down. You'll see that we get a little bit of shifting in that specular on the actual metal itself. Okay, some parts where it's a little more dull, other parts where it's a little shinier. Okay, that breaks it up. It breaks it up quite nice. And you can see the dirt is off of the specular now, so wherever there's dirt. Okay, I lost my light here. Alright, now let's get uh, some reflection on this base. So I'm going to type in reflect or ref all assets and textures, and I'll just find a good map here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to create a copy. And I'm going to come here and just do WEP H and then I should be in this section, Hunting Rifle, Textures. And this is going to be Hunting Rifle Ref, ref uh, DIR for Direction. Okay, and what I want to try to create is a new texture cube. Okay, so hunting rifle cube map. All right, and I'm going to take this texture here and plug it into all of these. And the size being 512 should be okay. How big is this image? This image is 512 anyway. You can see what I got here. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll give it a try. Okay, and now I'm going to type in cube here, textual sample parameter cube. And what I need for this is a transform which will give me a vector transform and reflection vector okay now if I throw this on diffuse I don't know if this texture hunting rifle reference oh I put the wrong I had the wrong image selected I want this one plugged in And you see what I get on here? Okay, it does all the directions. All right, and now I need to get this masked to my alpha channel. So I'm going to make a dupe of this. I'm going to make a difference, and let's throw in a power, 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 power node, and then. 
I want to just put a one here and we'll do base oops base wrong base wrong base exponent here zero is going to turn it should turn it all white if I turn on all these things that's all white but if I go like heat you can see that if I throw this into diffuse that all this stuff is black but I get some stuff here now let me try maybe four okay see how it brightens it up but most everything else is still black right so now what I can do is add these together Well, maybe I'm stupid and I need to actually get the <laughs> reflection in there first. Okay, forgot to add the reflection. Okay, you see that? Now, the reflection is actually making the metal look a little, like, brownish because there's some colored lights so what I'm actually gonna do is desaturate it just so that I am only getting the tonal shifts and getting the lights okay and that gets rid of that so it now looks more steel colored All right. looks good yeah yeah alright so and it's not on the plastic Let's go ahead and convert that. Convert it. And you can see here, it's probably not a good reflection texture to use because it kind of gives me like a spot and a spot and a spot. It's kind of broken up. Okay. It's also probably a little too powerful. and it shouldn't show up where the dirt is and it doesn't you can see that the dirt's breaking it up nicely let's try let's pop this open let's try this image instead It's really bright. It's got much less blacks in it. Yeah, it's really, really quite too bright. You can see it doesn't show up on the dirt like properly, so at least that's the highlighting that effect for me. Um, so if I come here and if I look at this texture. This is actually a good texture, uh, but like I said, with this happening, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this texture and I'm going to export it to file. And I'm going to call this Hunting rifle riff, riff. Yeah, I'll call it DIR or whatever it was. For you know, it's each direction. Okay, this this might not work. All right, so we go to Photoshop. Open recent places. What I want to try is filter blur, motion blur, and do like that. Okay, and then I want to brighten it up some, 
like that. And like I said, I don't know if this is going to work. I really don't. So we'll just try it anyway. We'll see what we get. I don't think I can re-import that. Okay, so I have to, it'll, it'll go and look for it. Okay. Now I want to pop this one open. And plug that back in here. Boom, 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 boom. It's kind of interesting. It gives me this weird weird thing going on here. I don't even know what that is. Let me try um, image rotation just 90 degrees. We'll try rotating it that way. Still gives me that weirdness. It's really weird. It's like this thing going through the whole thing. It's so weird. It's not based on my angle, it's based on my position. So what happens if I uh, rotate the gun? Does that change? Let's not use a rotation snap. Yeah, it's based on the angle. It's so weird. The other option, by the way, is to not use some weird texture like this but actually use something more like this where it's just kind of a natural environment which comes with UDK by the way so we plug that in instead it's still desaturated so it's not showing all those stuff but you should like actually officially see like trees and shit in here you can see that it's like the you see the landscape in there But I don't know. That seems weird. I don't like that. I think I like the other way better. Could try this image instead, the water reflection. Could try any one of these actually. I'll try the water reflection, but I need to get my um I need to get this one back in. Yeah, I kind of like it here. But it is doing it here too. So let me let me try um tweaking this to Try different reflection images. Let's try that water reflection. Glass reflection master could be useful too. But I'll try that water one because I said I got also got some these here. Engine it's a base tile reflection mask. It's kind of like just different weird shapes. Um, but I want to try that one. Okay, the cool thing is I don't even need to, uh, that's not, oh, I don't think I actually uh, conf uh, compiled that yet. See, that one goes back to kind of giving me dot, 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 dot down the line because of the way that that all lines up. Uh, there, the other way to do a reflection, by the way, is to say I uh, copy this go back to the material and not use this version 
not use a cube map but actually just do this and do a reflection vector but when you just do that you just need to mask the R and the G this is more of a planar style reflection Let's see Still not a good image because you can even see the seam where they didn't make the image like tile correctly. So let's try let's try that cloud reflect. Actually, let's try steel reflection because I actually have that already. Plug that guy in. And compile it. That gives me all kinds of weird shapes. Hmm. Maybe steel reflection would look good. In the um in here I doubt it it does stretch everything out but it's still too Still too bright, I think. Okay, I'm actually going to keep this open over here. All right, let's uh, let's go through and find some other ones. Let's try window reflection streaks. Not terrible. It's a little dark. I still am getting that so strange shape there. Never seen that before. Kind of bluish, to be honest. Out of curiosity, let's try this monkey reflection. Monk ref? Let's also make the desaturation not be a hundred percent. Let's only desaturate it fifty percent, so it's point five. It's not fifty by the way. So that brings in a little bit of tone on it. But the problem with that though is that it's going to look brown even in like a blue light. I have an outer space one. I just don't think is fully loaded. I 
I don't know, it's kind of hard to pick one, you know, that's going to work in all cases, because really you'd need the actual environment that you're in, and then per map you'd have to constantly be loading the correct... This is where UDK, I mean, a UE4 would come in handy, because it just uses a screen space thing, and it just picks up the nearest one to you, and works. So I'm going to keep it like this, but I'm just going to tune it now to um, actually, I'm going to use a infernal fernal, frenal, and let's go ahead and preview this on the node, on the mesh here real quick, because I only want the, now it's up to me, do I want the reflection only on the distance ones and not straight looking down it, or do I want that opposite? Because I can opposize that by doing one minus here. And that basically just inverts that. And then if I take this and say like one, okay, it kind of darkens it. So at a distance or like 0.5, I, th I think it starts getting it like weird. It gets really weird when you do stuff like this. It gets really hot. But that could be kind of cool. If I do that, I need to make sure I get rid of the, des the saturation. Just take a look. I'm kind of thinking that it made the black just way too black. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's, it's like an inverse. I don't think it's brown and blue. Weird. You can, f you can, uh, <laughs> almost said a bad word. You can, um, mess with this stuff all you want, actually. Zero, I think, just wipes it out. So I'll go with one. So looking down the line, there's no reflection, it's only close. Okay. It's only straight on. Now, like I said, I could do that opposite and only show it on the glancing angles, so it's only on the edge. But now when you look down the barrel, you're going to see this, because you're going to be looking down the barrel a lot, so you're going to see reflection over the whole thing. So honestly, I think I want to invert that. So there's less, the reflection's only close to you. Okay, specular. I need to boost, but first, what I think I'm going to do is, I just want to multiply it by like, maybe, you know, just a little bit high, hotter, 1.6 or something, but I'm going to use the more masked version. Now that may actually knock out all the specular on the plastic, and it did. Okay, well, and I can also actually kick this up to more like three. Uh, the UDK guys actually sometimes use like five. And now what I can do is take this and get a little bit of the plastic back. by adding the actual diffuse color. See how I get some of the plastic back? 
and see how it's relatively dull. Now I could instead of adding the diffuse color try adding the that back, right? And doing that, I probably want to tone this down a little bit because I added to it. I could clamp it to whatever I want. Like say, yeah, I don't want it to go over three or something. Um, but let's see. I don't know. It's gonna be hard to tune it for all lighting conditions. Now the reflections also. So you can see there's no reflection down the end over there. It's only when I look straight at it. And there's actually no reflection here on the very glancing surface. Um, but the reflection is a little powerful for me anyway. There's a specular there as well. So what I'm going to do is just tone that back. I lost it. So I'm just going to right click, go materials, and uh, edit the material here. Okay, so I, I, what I want to do is, before I add the reflection, let me clean up some stuff here. I'm actually going to go full screen, temporarily, and just kind of, I don't, I like using the cube map method. This is specular here. That's specular power and normal, so I'll drop that down. Okay, so before I add it, I'm going to tone it down. If I do this, I'm just I've just wiped it out entirely. But I'm just going to tone it down to about 0.37125. That's a scientific value, by the way. That scientific value just says I'm a douchebag. It's it's going to do something like that. People that do like crazy long float numbers, trying to make themselves look like they know what the f they're doing, is hilarious to me. So that does tone it down some, but I think I want to do it a little bit more. So I'm actually going to say like 0.15. Alright, there we go. That's back. So not a very powerful reflection. Nothing on my plastics. Very quite dull. dull on there which is what I want but does pick up light I kinda think I like it I may want to do one more thing this is going to probably not work out very well I'm just going to multiply the whole thing by my infernal Fresnel, which will affect the plastic as well. Okay, you see how my plastic is darker on the edges? Actually, that's opposite. There we go. Straight on, but darker on the edges. So when you look down the, the length, it's actually like pretty much thoroughly black. Now, I don't think I actually... I don't think I like that. So 
So I'm going to constant clamp that. To do a minimum of point 0.6. See, that's not as black, but still slightly darker. It helps the form. It, it helps the volume stretch through. Now, the, uh, the thing that I didn't do was actually tie that Fresnel, Fresnel, into the actual normal map, which should bring out more detail slightly kind of hard to determine that here but it actually makes an uh, effect on the more more powerful elements more the deeper normal dips It is both not the worst and not the best thing I've ever accomplished, but I don't hate it. I hope nobody else does. Like I said, it's so simple that there's not a lot that really can be done to it. I think that this will hold up under most lighting conditions. Um, I shouldn't be blooming anywhere and this won't show up this big highlight won't show up unless the lighting is really bright but it's it looks pretty cool I don't know what do you guys think hit pause signing off and in the next part we'll do the scoop and the, we'll fix up the mag a little bit by the way and we'll do the bolts I think <laughs>